Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Welcome, friends. Welcome to Rhyme Time. My name is Miss Nucha, and I'm from the Winfield Public Library, and you know my dog, Coco. She knew it was story time. Well, today's letter is the letter V. What starts with the letter V? Oh, violets. And um, van and vet and violin and vacuum. So look around the house and vegetables. I love my vegetables. So look around the house today and see what starts with the letter V. We better get started on our flannel boards today. Shouldn't we, Coco? We better start. We're starting now. V is for village. And outside this village, we have one, two, three, four, five people. And do they look happy to you? Look at their faces. She looks scared. She looks angry. And here's an old man and his wife. The story we're about to hear is called Stone Soup. Have you ever heard of Stone Soup? It's based off of the book in the library. So check out the book in the library. So once upon a time, there was a man and his wife who had lost all of their belongings. They had nothing and they were very, very poor, but they were very smart. One day, as they were walking, they came to a small village where they hoped that they would get some food and somewhere to sleep for the night. But the people of this village were very stingy and they did not like to share. This is what they said. Uh-oh, strangers are coming. Look how raggedy they are. They're sure to be beggars. We better hide all our food. Hurry, hurry before they get here. The man said, hello, good people. Could you spare us some food and a place to sleep tonight? And the wife said, anything will do. We're not fussy. Oh, we've had a poor harvest. There's no food at all. None, none for anyone. And our houses are too small. There is absolutely no room, so you better move on. Oh, what a sad story, said the man. No food, no room. My dear wife, we can't leave these people like this. The wife said, no, indeed. We'll have to make them some of our famous stone soup. They all said, stone soup? The wife said, certainly, I have a magic stone that makes delicious soup. Just bring us a big pot and I'll show you how. So the villagers brought a big pot. The man said, we're gonna need fire underneath to cook our soup. So they brought fire. Now the wife said, fill the pot with water. The man said, we're gonna need a spoon to stir it with. There, spoon, they brought a spoon. The wife said, now it's time to put the stone in. And they put the stone in. The man says, oh, what delicious soup we'll have. But you know, I've always liked it with carrots. And he said, I've got carrots. And he brought a bunch of carrots. The wife said, oh, yes, carrots are good. But I think nothing beats cabbage to bring out the flavor of the stone soup. She says, I've got a cabbage. And she brought a cabbage and put it in the soup. The, the man said, this is excellent. But if we had some potatoes and some beef, the soup would be fit for a prince. She said, I've got potatoes. And she brought potatoes. I got beef. She brought beef. Now the wife said, if only we had some milk and barley, it would be fit for the king himself. She said, I've got milk. She brought milk and I got barley and she brought barley. And the man said, now this is fit for the king himself. The man said, it's also ready now. It's just about ready. We need a table, a soup fit for a king should have some bread to go with it and some juice and some more roast beef and some fruit would be lovely and some dessert. 
So the man and the wife and the village people ate delicious soup and all the food appeared like magic and they danced into the night. The man says, well, it's late. Do you think we can have a corner to sleep in? A corner? For people who make soup fit for a king? Only the best will do. Yes, the mayor's house. Certainly, it's the only thing to do. The wife said, Oh, you've all been so kind. Tomorrow when we leave, I'll leave you my magic stone. The end. The letter V is for violets and vase. So we're going to have a cute little rhyme about violets. What color are the violets? They're a purple color. Good. And how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Don't you like violets? Let's give them to somebody special. Let's begin. Five little violets growing by my door. I picked one and then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little violets I did see. I picked one. And then there were three. One, two, three. Three little violets I did see. I picked one. And then there were two. One, two. Two little violets I did see. I picked one. And then there was one. One little violet I did see. I picked it. And then there were none. Here's our vase. Let's move that for a minute. I took them home and I put them in a vase. And vase starts with V. One, two, three, four. I want them to look pretty. And Five. Let's put them in our vase. There they are. Don't they look pretty? I think I'm going to give them to Mommy. The end. The letter V is for vowels. A, E, I, O, U. Let's count the vowels. One, two, three, four, five. Five little vowels swimming in the sea. And here we have a shark. Ooh, ooh. Let's begin. Five little vowels swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can catch me. You can catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And he snapped. The A right out of the C. Oh, poor vowel A is gone. Now we have one, two, three, four. Four little vowels swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can catch me, you can catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snap that vowel right out of the C. He just took E. Now we have one, two, three. Three little vowels swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can catch me, you can catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snaps that vowel right out of the sea. He just took I. Now we have one, two. Two little vowels swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snap that O right out of the sea. He just took another vowel. Now we have one left. Ooh, no. One little vowel swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can catch me, you can catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snap that vowel right out of the sea. 
Oh boy, now he's done. He swims away. All the vowels are gone. The end. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. What was your favorite story today? Was it stone soup? That was my favorite. And don't forget, Tuesdays between 10 and 12 and Thursdays between 6 and 8 o'clock, you can pick up a craft bag and watch the videos and follow along. And next week, our letter is going to be the letter W. Ooh, what starts with the letter W? I know one of my favorite things, wagon. Oh, I wish we had a wagon. So until next time, stay safe and I'll see you next week. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye everyone, thanks so much for joining us. And like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye everyone, take care. See you next week.